Wahoo! Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Speaking of jumping right in, let's jump into the video. Yeah. I'm Nathaniel. I'm Christian. We are friends, and we are playing Super Mario for friends. This is the driest playing... intro. <laughs> it's so <laughs> Super dry. Super Mario. <laughs> we are playing Super Mario Sunshine. It's true. On the Nintendo GameCube. That's also true. What are we doing? Episode four? Um, we are doing episode five. Episode five. Okay. Man. That was so robotic. It was like, we are friends and we... <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Wasn't that dry? I, I was just being a matter of fact. No, all. no, I love it. All right, so blue coins here. Where are they? Fine, you're going to need Yoshi for all of them. What? I got two of them with him already. Yes, you got the beehives, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's just one more then that we need to get from here. What does Yoshi want? Bananas. Bananas. Of course. <laughs> of course. Typical. Typical banana eater. <laughs> Chad Durian eater versus incel banana eater. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone who eats durians is considered Chad. Yeah, if you eat a fart fruit, man, you're Chad mm. in my books. Wow, okay. Okay, where's the, where's this next one? Okay, so what you want to do is you want to spin onto the top of the fruit tree, and then to the mushroom nearby, have Yoshi eat all of the blue butterflies. All of them? So that, that red mushroom is what they're talking about. Okay, whoops. That's a sick spin jump. Thanks, man. It took me a, I have to admit, it took me a long time to get on top of that tree. So. I can do Cause it. like, the tree physics on this is so weird. Like, if you... If you try to spin, like, right under it, it sends you flying, like, 10 miles yeah. in one random direction. What if I get on That's top of here? Like the, that. Change the mushroom. There it is. And there's the butterflies. If I could eat them, that would be super great. I don't like how you have to keep making short hops to get them. It's like, they're just out of reach if you don't jump. It's kind of arbitrary, but whatever. It's fine, it's just a very... Munch on munch on, I'm mostly munching on blueberries. Munching on blue butterflies. Getting that blue coin. We're almost done. I'm not even, I'm not even fretting them. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. Oh. Nathaniel, this might be the worst- Now we're fretting. This now might be the worst day of my life. I hope not. <laughs> Lots of days to come. I think you're setting the bar too low. <laughs> this is the worst day. There we go. I got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that it for this level? Uh, yeah. Do you want to do the? Do you want to do the secret shine on this level now, oh, yeah, or do you want to come back point. to that? Oh, that's a that's a great point that you're making currently. Yeah. Because you because you already have Yoshi, you can make it to the. Uh, the underside and do yeah, the I think I think that's a variant. Kill two birds with one stone type thing, right? Yeah. Now this is the one with the chucksters, and uh, this time you have to use them to help you get eight red coins in ninety seconds. I think I could do so, that. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't take me too many tries. So this one was not nearly as difficult as the internet built this one up. I mean, uh, it's a, to it's tough. So, like it's a tough one. Yeah. Without yeah, question. Yeah, no, it's not easy, but... It takes, like, dedication it, and, like, hard effort and... It was. Focus. <laughs> it's really an allegory for life. Um, I mean, when you think about it. Uh, dedication. The whole, the whole of Mario Sunshine is, a, is an allegory for life. That's true. Getting framed. That's pretty... Mm. That's pretty important to wow. life. Yeah. Pain for, pain for other people's crimes. Uh, you know, uh, washing away marks and stains. Uh, sunshine, you know. Yeah. Uh, like, obviously, right? Yeah. Being chased by an unseeable enemy who always seems one step ahead of you. Alright, where are the eight red coins for this one? There's one right above you. This guy's gonna help me get it? Yeah. So let him throw you and, like, hold back on the analog stick. Oh, yeah. I see. If you hold, if you hold back immediately, he'll he'll fling you 
Like, a straight up. There we go. There we go. Alright. Next one is this guy. Go ahead, go ahead and throw yourself across, yeah. I am a trickster. You can see it right there on the panel. Okay, go ahead and fling yourself to the next guy. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I got. This is where, this is where I lost all of my uh, time. I was waiting for this uh, guy to turn around. He he got distracted. That's all. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. <laughs> okay, there's two here in the pen. Right. How am I supposed to get it? Uh, you have to go onto the side, so the side jump. Oh, 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 oh! I don't have the time. I kill no, self. I don't so. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, we got all those one-ups. That was terrifying. Hmm. Thirty-five le lives left. Oh man, I I'll never do it. Use them wisely. <laughs> I mean, now that you said that. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. We're good. Nathaniel, There's one point already. Are you clairvoyant? Can you see the future? I, I sometimes I feel like I could. So. Do you think, like, are there any, like, things that you do in your daily life that you think, like, that's definitely, like, my superpower? Excuse me. Yeah, so actually, I do. Um, I have the completely uncanny ability to tie any cord I touch into knots. Fuck. Um, what? Yeah. That's insane. Any knot? It's, it's, it's really, it's really weird. But like, I, like every one of my family swears, it, I, it, all I have to do is touch the cord wow. and it, it ties into a knot. So. That's crazy. It's, that it's, I, I don't know how useful I don't know how useful a superpower that is, but oh, I mean that, it doesn't uh, have to be useful to be a power. Yeah, that seems to be mine. It's just what yeah. you're able to do, right? Yeah. Um, mine is that I I feel like I suck the the luck out of people. Like I'm in huh. general a very very lucky person. Interesting. So if you play like a dice based game, you're gonna tend to get the the good rolls and and they'll they'll lose out. Yeah. Mm. Or just to, like in life, I'm I'm a lucky person. Right. You yeah, ever won like a like a contest or a raffle or something See, like that? See, that's the only place that I I don't feel I get lucky. Hmm. Contest. I've won. Stuff. I've won. I've won the odd. I've won the odd contest here and there. Oh yeah. Oh, you wanted to no. So you wanted to stay there. Um, and actually jump. Oh. Over onto that wire. Yeah. I think I can make this. And then there's one up there on the. Oh. I didn't judge the distance well. Sha la la. <laughs> <laughs> that perception took a hit there. We're just, uh. Gonna go right past that. I'm beginning yep. to think that the 35 lives that I had uh, might not cut it. Hmm. No, you'll be fine. You know, it, as long as it only takes 34. Okay, well, we got that one pretty quick. As long as everything goes smoothly. <laughs> don't say things like that. <laughs> hey, you don't know. I could be very lucky. That's true. There's not a lot of RNG involved here. That's what I- I think we've talked about that before with Sunshine. I've always felt like if- If something goes wrong, for the most part, there are a couple of terrible BS moments, but for the most part, I feel like if something goes wrong, you know, it's because you didn't jump right, you didn't time it right, whatever. Yeah. It's not a lot of, like, RNG nonsense. Yeah, exactly. Why don't I just... Nope. Oh. That was... Pretty bad. Whoops. That was also pretty bad. There we go. There we go. Now... Came to the wire. There's one on the wire, and then there's one above the guy who's on fire. You don't have to douse the guy who's on fire. Okay. I'm running out of time. 
Yeah, so you can jump from here and hover to the, that point. And then if you talk to the chuckster who's standing there, he'll throw you back to the pen. Okay, I think I got this at this point. Unless these guys get in my way. Oh my god. Ah, oh, the angle! The angle was wrong. Into the abyss. The ticking kept going. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> that was a weird moment. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, we're good, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Thought you were gonna bust out into an outcast on there for a second. Alright, 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 alright. Right, 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 right. I should have. <laughs> There's never, like, a better time for an outcast song than uh, playing Mario Sunshine. Mm. I love Outcast. Anytime can be Outcast time. I love Outcast. They're great. This sucks. Favorite, this sucks. Favorite, uh, favorite Outcast song? I think you'll be okay. <gasps> oh! You were saved and then you were unsaved. I still had built up momentum in my Mario. Yeah. I was half an too A press away. <sighs> too much momentum built up in your Mario. <laughs> Is this ever a problem for you? Huh. Do you ever find your Mario has too much momentum? Okay, I need to angle. Introducing a revolutionary product. I hate that it's have a you, B that you have to press. Have you, um... You're familiar with the Jackbox games, yeah? Jackbox? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of, of course you are. I'm, I'm just setting up the conversation for our listeners here. Um... Have you played the one called Patently Stupid? I don't think I have, actually. Oh, that one's really fun. Uh, it, it combined, it's a drawing, like, improv game. Basically, um, you get a random nope. fill-in-the-blank problem, like, I have, you know, I have too much of, I don't know, horse heads or something. Mm -hmm. And then you have to come up with some sort of wacky invention that solves this uh, Mad Lib uh, problem. <laughs> So. Oh wow! I love this. Uh, so you come up with the invention, and then so you get—I don't know—a minute, ninety seconds to to draw it, come up with a little slogan and everything, and then each player in turn does like a like a almost like a PowerPoint presentation to present their their invention to everyone else in whatever way they want, uh, and then after everyone's presented, you vote on which one you thought was the best. Huh. Yeah. It's like a shark tank. Yeah, exactly. Like a really funny uh, Dragon's Den episode or something. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Three. Four. Okay, wire's next. Five. Six. I have time, so we're good. Okay. Talk to this guy. I think that's the perfect angle. We're good, we're good. Seven. Hey, there it is. Hey! Oh my god. Fifth time's a charm. Or sixth? What are those guys doing over there? Just distracting me. Mm. 83! Oh. Damn. And we got 22 shines from the blue coins, What's that put basically. Us at? That puts us at 105. Man, we're close. 15 shines left. We st so, only, what, two or three episodes ago, we were at 24, and now we're at 15 away? So. Yeah, dude. Yeah, wow. Things, things are looking so good for us. Yeah, things are pretty, looking pretty up. We got one more secret on Pianta, and then the episode 8, and the 100 coin, so... The other secret's really easy, actually, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the, uh, what's the next episode that I'm going for? Uh... This uh, one here. It doesn't matter, it just has to be a daytime one. Oh, the blue coins, I mean. Yeah, episode 6. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right, we were killing two birds of one stone there. Okay, so this one's really easy. This is the one where you, you rescue them from the sludge, right? Yeah. 
every single piñata except for the two kids you rescue also give you a blue coin if you talk to them. Good to know. So there's eight blue coins in this level. All right. Yeah. I wish I had killed the, like killed the birds with the stone. Uh, well, while I was, I, uh, I was still, I was reading, I was reading from the Troika book at this point. Yeah. So. That's all good. Yeah. So like, so like that's a kid. So he okay. won't give you a coin. you fuck you. I don't need your help. <laughs> Amazing. Nice. Two two two. Two two two. Great minds think alike. <laughs> like. Apparently. Oh my god. I feel like there's like time pressure to get the get them all. Yeah, well, the the timer is really generous until you're trying to actually have to talk to each of them and get blue coins and all that. Just you just pick them off, just be a nice guy. Yeah, why not? There's one up over there. I'm just going to take care of him. Excuse me, mister. Can I have a blue coin? Thank you. Alright. Nathaniel. That's okay. That's, that's three. Five more. You think this guy's gonna give me some? Oh yeah, all of them do except for the kids. You think so? Oh yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah. I don't know. Wow, he gave me one. <laughs> That's four. So unexpected. Halfway. I'm so Halfway. close. I have a minute. Tension's mounting. I have a minute left. Ignore that one. That's a kid. Fuck you. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Please. Five. Just gonna save the game each time. <laughs> Might as well. Alright. I'll take care of these guys. Whoops. Oh my god. What if I fail before the timer goes out? Oh, yeah, you got tons of time. Don't even worry about it. Six? Mm hmm. Oh. I don't know why he does that. Seven? And I'll save after this guy. Oops. Um. There we go. <laughs> Mario wasn't it's turning like, no, around. No, we can't end like this. There it is. That's all of them. You can see there's only one more blue coin left besides the ones in Corona Mountain because we're at 229. Oh god. So. The timer's still going. So that's it. Uh, now we can go to episode 8. Alright. Let's do it. I think I know where that one is. Cool. It's at the top, right? Yeah, and there's a blue bird you have to spray. Hell yeah. You can also get the other secret shine in this episode. Let's do it. Without completing it properly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, frankly, that's the only way to live. Yeah. We still haven't done episode one of Bianco Hills, right? Of course not. Yeah, of course not. Why would we? This is a no, just no episode one of Bianco Hills run. That's right. This is our, this is our no episode one speed run. Yeah, no episode one We're at like 500 hours at this point. <laughs> Probably more than that. I don't think so. No? 500 hours? Nah. You don't think so? This is not a, no, this is not a 500 hour sort of game. I mean, like, when since we started the game in real life, it's been more well over 500 hours. Oh, in real life, yeah. But you can't count every winky moment if unless you're playing Mario Sunshine each of those moments. Can't you? Oh. <laughs> is there one up top here? Red coin? I thought we were completing this level. We are? Oh my god, you're right. What am I doing? I'm such a fool. Oh, yeah, so just aim for the big tree and go for the bird. Oh, I passively aggressively agree with you. I'm such a fool. Yeah, so go for... 
Yeah, Christian, go fuck yourself. I agree with you, Nathaniel. There, there's, a, <laughs> there's the blue burn that you want. Oh. Over there? Yeah, he was on that, that platform there with the rocket nozzle. But it looks like he flew away. You can probably catch him while he's in the midair. There he is. Oh, there he is. He's on the other side of the rocket nozzle. Get back here. There he goes, flying away. Oh. There it is. <laughs> okay. There it is. 230 blue coins. Well, let's get the secret shine too. That's 107. That's 106 shine sprites now. Wow. Technically. Technically, yes. Because we're going to cash them all in at the same time. Yeah. What? Oh, damn it. Gosh dang it. All right. Arg. All right. Oh. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Guess I'll go up the way they want me to. Starting from, I guess, the tree. I guess so. I hate Piazza Village. <laughs> Is this your least favorite then? Because we've, we've tossed around that idea a couple of times. I don't know. There's so many options. I don't think I hate Pianta Village actually. I think this one is okay. Um, there's some there's some annoying bits, but I still think... I still think I'm sticking with my answer that... Uh, um, Sirena Beach is my least favorite. So. Where's the name? Oh, there it is. Serena Beach, yeah, it's not yeah. it's not great fun all the time. Yeah. There's a lot of stinky, like, stinky moments. There's some cool there's some cool levels. Like I don't think any I don't think any full course in this game is like to like a complete waste or anything like that. I think they all have their moments, but how did you do this part? You like did like that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you get to the cloud. And then you rock it from here. Right. There we go. Nothing to it. Don't fall off. <laughs> I tried not to. <laughs> and that's the platform where you get the secret shine yep. from. I got two. Oh my god. It's a little scary, honestly. It is a little it's bit a little freaky. Uncanny. Yeah, there's, some, there's something yeah. like weirdly scary and like supernatural mm -hmm. about that yeah it's like oh that's been there the whole time i hate that mm -hmm. yeah there's just been a giant painting in the sky all right bro we got 84 plus 23 yeah that's plus insane 23. 107 and that's all the blue coins that are in the game except for the ones in corona mountain well now we have to do so. Yeah, I guess that's right, huh? What's what's left? Let's what's left? Let's bring up the recap here. So we got the hundred coin on gelato and pianta. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we should we do have... those two next. Let's head over to gelato first, though. Or actually, yeah, we could let's do the do pianta that. village one first and then do gelato. Because we're, we're already, already here. here on pianta, right? Yeah, yeah it makes sense. Uh, we got each of the episode eight, as a word. Mm -hmm. So that's another seven. That's nine. Except for Pachinko. except for Bianco Hill. <laughs> Which we've uh, already Pachinko. done. Right. Pachinko, the the leaf lily pad, uh, the one from being Bowser, and the last ten blue coins. Last ten blue coins. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're already here. So, yeah. what's the best level for getting a hundred coins? Uh, which level did I do? I did um the what? Which level did I do? Um, I think I did. I think I did. I want to say I did either two or five. Uh, actually, I, I might have done episode one. I actually bookmarked a really great guide that was like the hundred a hundred coin guide. Oh, tell me from, all about uh, it. Yeah. So let's just see here. Christian's got to know. Uh, Uh, 
Uh, yeah, okay, so here... Um... I don't think it's this they, level. They, said you, they tell you to do episode 1, looks like. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Hold on, sorry. I'm still not quite there yet. There we go. Yeah, episode 1. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it in episode 1 pretty easily. That's where I did it. Okay. What am I yep. what am I doing? Just breaking these boxes and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah, all the crates have coins for the most part. Okay. So there's like a ton of coins in there. And then when you run out of crates, uh, you can ground pound the statue's nose. That dispenses like nine or ten coins. Yeah. Basically you get most of them from crates. So Huh. Oh. There's some on the um if you all you know all the all the mushrooms that are on fire yeah on the side like that have the little flames if you douse them and then ground pound them they give you coins oh if you douse them and then ground pound them yeah I don't know about the ground pounding I didn't know about that either that's why this guide was so useful so many little intricacies of this game that's kind of like mm -hmm. kind of amazing kind of crazy yeah. Someone is lacking proper training. Proper training. Sounds like my dog. <laughs> my dog is a little monster. I love him and he loves me, but he is horrible. <laughs> He's a terrible little tyrant. Yeah, uh, sort of like a little kid, right? That's about right. Kids are great, though. Yeah, I like kids. Whoa. 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 Hated that. I Mario. Billy Mario there, yeah, woo. The sheer terror. What about this? Does this give me coins? It might. But it doesn't. Does it not? Come on, man. I spent it's water not. on it. <laughs> All these crates. Oh, yeah, 24. 25, so we're a quarter of the way. Okay. That's pretty good. And plus there's coins on the underside of the village too, right? Yeah, like on the mushrooms and stuff. I, I didn't have to even do that. I got all of them from the crates and the mushrooms that were on fire. Nice. So. I guess I could just do that too then. Because each of them give you eight. Oh. The, the mushrooms, I mean. That's super easy so. then. Barely an inconvenience. Yeah. Look at us go. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I think- I, Oh no, don't let those coins disappear. I think, uh, I think I managed to get to 110. Nice. And I think- I think there was still potential to get a few more when I stopped, right, so. so. 43, almost halfway. Almost halfway? Cool. There's more crates too, right? Like, there's some I missed? I'm sure of it. Um, yeah, uh, there's a couple here. There's- there's a whole bunch all, all on here. Nice jump. Thanks. I felt a little bit sick. <laughs> like I was gonna pee. Maybe you should see. Maybe you should see his doctor. <laughs> yeah. My doctor tells me I have coronavirus. It's over. Oh. It's over, Nathaniel. All right. So the mushrooms, right? Yeah, the mushrooms. You douse the flame and ground pound them. Easy peasy, nothing to it. Nothing to it. Except for the dowsing and ground pounding, of course. I can't do this one, right? Nothing. No, ha no, nothing. Wow. Yeah, each of them do that. That's so convenient. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. How's yeah, that's why this, this hundred coin was pretty easy. Oh, yeah. 65. I remember when we had a lowly 65 shine sprites. Darker times. I remember when we stopped on a 69. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sex number. <laughs> Thank you for explaining the joke. You're welcome. That was more for the audience at home. I don't know 
what our audience is or what their age range is, but... Mm, it's true, it's true. We're family friendly. That's why Christian swears? <laughs> yeah, that's a problem I have. I should stop doing that. I should try to be more like you. I swear on occasion, but you get used to being conscious about it when you're on camera or whatever. So... Am I about to get it? No. That hurt. Ouchie. Uh, this will put us really close. 97. Now what? Is... Are we out of mushrooms? We're super duper Looks that way, huh? Yeah, we're super duper okay. out of mushrooms. Well, well, so they say, uh, you, you already ground pounded the statue, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna try something see. crazy. Don't judge me for this. Okay. <laughs> it, are, are there coins inside the sauna? Like the empty sauna? Oh, whoa, how do we get down here? Okay. I just wanted to see if there was coins down there. Huh. Empty sauna? Yeah, is there is there coins in there? I don't think so. No? We're three short. There's nothing worse than that feeling. Like, go in and ground pound it? Go in and ground pound Not... it? Yeah. Whoa! Ta-da! Nathaniel, you, uh, you tricked me. <laughs> tricked me into believing it was all over. <laughs> it's never over till it's over. Yeah, so ground pounding was the, the key to this chapter. I guess, huh? We did it! We're at 85! That's it! 85! 108! We're at 108 if you count the blue coins. Wow. Now we don't have to come back here except for episode 8. That's right. Which we're gonna do with the boys at some point. Yes. Uh, so I think all that's left for us to do... Uh, I don't know if it's this episode, next episode? Before we get to the, uh, the big dogs is the 100 coin gelato beach. Yeah. That one might take a while, so why don't we do it in the next episode? Okay, let's do that. We'll see you later. Bye, everyone. Everyone? Oh, wait. Yeah. Like the video and yes. subscribe Please. to us because we yes. do good stuff that you've been watching this whole time. That's right. Um, also, what is, like, the least useful object inside of your house? Why do oh, you wow. have it? What a good, what a good, uh, what a good topic. These useful arms inside my house. Um, I mean, we have a couple of, like, broken kitchen appliances that just no one refuses to get rid of. If it, um, if you say your oven, I'm gonna go ape shit. <laughs> Fix your no, oven. No, no, not, what? not like that. Okay. I mean, like, potato peelers that don't work anymore. How am I walking on this? What do you mean? You can only bounce on this. No, oh, you're right. That was weird. Yeah. Huh. There was a failure to bounce. Yeah, weird. Alright, bye guys. See ya. Shall I've been we... watching a lot of movies recently. Oh actually. yeah. So yeah. That's what I've been doing, Any specifics? So. Yeah, I've seen six films in the last week. So Wow. Yeah. I don't know if you want to save that for the top of next episode. Yeah, we could talk about that in a sec. Yeah. yeah. Some good, some bad, but I mean there's some there's some bad movies out there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whew. But uh, you can always learn something from them. I mean, so. everything has value. That's my belief. Yeah, yeah. I think 
I think everything does. I think sometimes the lesson it teaches you is don't do it like that, but I still think it, there's something to it. So. Everything has value except for whatever this thing is. Yeah. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> Am I supposed to guess based on the sound? It sounds <laughs> like a pen. <laughs> it's, a two, it's just chopsticks. Um, oh, okay. 